Hello and welcome to my channel. My name's Ali and back by popular demand this is Saturn, my beautiful boy. And in today's video I'm going to be talking about bonding and how to successfully bond two chinchillas together. Now there's two methods to bond in chinchillas. One is called the side by side method and the second one is called smooshing. And spooshing is a little bit controversial but I'll go into the reasons why it's considered a little bit controversial in this video later on. I have used both methods and both have been successful for me so I will go through both methods. Now the first method is called side by side and what it involves having the chinchillas in two separate cages and putting them close enough that they can smell each other and see each other but not close enough that they can physically touch and bite each other. Some people, some people say to have the cages a foot apart and then gradually decrease it each day but I don't feel the need to do that as long as the chinchillas aren't able to bite each other and hurt each other that's the main thing. Now you want to do that, have them the cages side by side for several weeks. Don't try and rush it and do it all in one week because you're less likely to be successful. So the key with this is patience. So the longer you leave it with them side by side, the better. Things you can do in the meantime while you're waiting for the process to happen is you can let them share a dust bath. Obviously not at the same time. You'd have one chinchilla have a dust bath and then take out the dust bath and let the other chinchilla use the same dust bath if that makes sense. That way they can get used to each other's scent and smell and it's just another way that they can get accustomed to each other. So another thing you can do is you can put one of the chinchillas up to the other chinchilla's cage bars. They may act territorial because it's a caged environment but it just gives them a chance to sniff and smell each other and actually get some form of contact and if they behave aggressively you can pull them away so it's a very controlled way to get them to interact with each other. Now after your several weeks are up and you've decided this the day I'm going to introduce my chinchillas to each other what you need to do is whichever cage you've decided you're going to have the two chinchillas live in you get that chinchilla out and put them in a carry case or a little cage and then you want to clean that cage thoroughly and you want to change the toys about maybe put in new toys just so it's a bit more neutral once you've done that get the other chinchilla out and have them actually out in a small area for playtime such as a bathroom a small hallway or a playpen would work and then just look very very closely and see how they interact they may completely ignore each other which is perfectly fine they may start talking to each other which is brilliant or they may start behaving aggressively towards each other like biting and chasing each other around the around the place if they're chasing each other around the place a lot you want to separate them if any fights break out you want to stop them immediately because it's obviously too soon and you can try again at a later date if you've had your chinchillas out for 15 to 20 minutes they've, they've met head on several times and there's been no kind of problems then it's time to try putting them in the cage together. Now, when you do this, I like to give them lots of distractions. So for example, I give them, I give them a dust bath, I'll give them extra toys to chew on, lots of willow sticks, just so that it keeps them occupied and keeps them distracted from the fact that there's two chinchillas in a cage that normally has one in. So that's what I tend to do. And then you need to monitor them very closely that day and all night as well just to make sure there's no fighting and hopefully in the morning when you wake up you'll find that there's there's two chinchillas snuggled up together fingers crossed so the next method is smooshing and it's and it's the most commonly one used by chinchilla breeders although I've only just recently started using it I normally use the side by side method um, and what it is, you put the two chinchillas in a small carry case or, or show cage. So small enough that they can, 
barely turn around and not do much else. A cat carry case is too large for them. Now what you want to do is you want to put them in this cage and you want to leave them there for several hours. Obviously if they're fighting then you take them out. If they've had just a little spat you can always tap on the side of the cage or move the cage about to kind of distract them. And some breeders say two hours leave them in there, other breeders say four to six hours. I'm more of the four to six hours kind of person because I feel like that gives them enough time to actually form a bond. And uh, after that point if they're not, if they've just gone to sleep together or they're just you know um, just chilling out of each other in the cage then you formed a bond and then you can put them into a cage and hopefully they will keep that bond and then they will live the rest of their lives happily. Now you might think this is a really easy method to get them to be together but some people really really don't like it and I'll explain why. A big Facebook group really don't like it and really discourage people from using smooshing because they say it's fine for breeders because breeders generally know the personalities of their chinchillas whereas someone that's got two brand new chinchillas isn't going to know whether one is highly aggressive or not and if you don't do it correctly it can be very very dangerous. For example if you use a cage that's too big they can really launch themselves into a fight Whereas the whole reason for the small cage is because they can't really get any leverage to do any really, really significant damage to each other. Well, that's the idea anyway. Also, people don't like it because it's very, very forced. It's, you're forcing your chinchillas to bond together because you're saying, here being a very, very small confined area, you have no choice about it, which some people do feel stresses out the chinchilla, especially if they've never met the chinchilla before and never interacted with it. So, but breeders really like it and I can understand why breeders like it because it's quick and easy and efficient way to get two chinchillas to bond, especially if you're transferring chinchillas over from one partner to the next, the next, it's an easy way to bond. They I'm on the fence with this, I can see the benefits and I can also see it being potentially dangerous to pet homes. So if you're going to do the smooshing method, I would highly recommend you still do the side by side process. So still have the chinchillas side by side in separate cages for a few weeks because that way they can still see each other, interact with each other, get used to each other's scent and it's not so stressful when you put them in a small confined area together. That's all I would say. Um, I don't like smooshing chinchillas just straight away with no previous contact because I just feel like it potentially, I'm probably going to get dislikes for this video now, but I think it can potentially really stress out your chinchillas. So I would still recommend doing that part. And then if you don't want to let them out for playtime, you'd rather have them in a carry case together, then give it a go. And if and if that doesn't work, try try both methods. It's okay to try both, but it's just a case of you know I wouldn't honestly do the smooshing without having first put them side by side because I think that's fairer to the chinchilla personally. But yeah, they're the two methods for bonding chinchillas that I know of. Both work really well if you've got compatible same sex pairs. But yeah, so hopefully you'll get your two chins to, to form a lovely bond together. So Anyway, I hope this video hasn't been too boring. I wanted to do an educational one. Um, if you like, please subscribe. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.